The objective is to reason abstractly using place value understanding to relate adjacent base 10 units. Let's start with this first problem, 367 times 10. Let's use the place value chart to help us with our work. Would our number get smaller or bigger? Bigger. In fact, it's going to be 10 times larger. So the 7 gets shifted to the tens place. 7 ones become 7 tens, or 70. And as you can see, we also can move the other two digits. What do we place in the ones place? Right, we need a placeholder, a zero. So our number, 367 times 10, is 3,670. What happens if we divide by 10? Our number should get smaller. Let's write that out then. Hundreds, tens, and ones. And then so our number gets smaller, gets shifted over one place. So our number is 3 tens, 6 ones, 7 tenths, or the number 36.7, also read as 36 and 7 tenths. How about 4,367 times 10? Well, it would be equal to 4,367 tens, which is written as 43670, or the number 43,670. Within a place value chart, it would look like this. about what we started with. We started with 4,367 and multiplying by 10 shifted each of those digits to its adjacent place. And we had a zero as our placeholder in the ones place. You try. We'll keep the example on the screen here. You try multiplying 3,672 by 10. Pause the video while you do your work. Did you come up with 36,720? Let's try a problem with the tenths place. Okay, so let's place our number into our place value chart. That's three hundredths, one ten, seven ones, and eight tenths. Now I'm multiplying by a hundred. So each of the hundreds becomes ten thousand. When I multiply one ten by a hundred, it becomes a thousand. Our ones become hundreds, and our tenths, be those become tens. So I have the number 3, 1, 7, 8, and a zero inside of the ones place. So it's 31,780. Okay. Here we have 326.4 divided by 100. Place it into our place value chart. And let's see what we do. We divide by 100. So each of our numbers is getting smaller. Smaller by 100. So the tenths become thousands. Six of those ones divided by a hundred become hundreds. 
And 100 divided by 100 becomes 100. That's why they become 1s. So the 3 got shifted, the 2 got shifted. And so our number is 30, I'm sorry, is 3.264, also read as 3 and 264 thousandths. Okay, your turn to do some work. Please go ahead and multiply 3 and 7 tenths by 100, and then also multiply 3 and 7 tenths divided by 100. Use a place value chart. Pause the video while you do your work. Okay, let's see. Multiplying by 100. Place it into the chart. 1 times 100 will give us 100. Therefore, 3 times 100 gives us 300. The tenths, when we multiply by 100, become tens. And then so our number is 3, 7, and we needed a placeholder of 0. When 3 and 7 tenths was divided by 100, 3 divided by 100 already is hundredths. And then 7 tenths divided by 100 is thousandths. So our answer there is 0. Point zero three seven check over your work four hundred eighty two thousandths times a thousand well that would just be four hundred eighty two four eight two our digits would get shifted over three places Four hundred eighty-two divided by a thousand. Well, we could rewrite it as this, and written as a decimal is four hundred eighty-two thousandths. Much the same way, if we took twenty-seven and divided it by a thousand, we would get twenty-seven thousandths, which is written as zero point zero two seven.